Hong Kong Canadian noises. Welcome back. Um, we are on part three, I think, of episode three. Um, of Tell Me Why, and a little recap. Uh, someone lit the fucking barn on fire, trying to cover up the evidence that uh, Sam is the biological father. At least that's what everything is pointing to. Um. So we're assuming it's him, but I don't know, that's, that's a little overkill, don't you think? Lighting an entire barn on fire when he knew where to find it? I don't know. A little weird. Um, what else? The Mad Hunter keeps showing up and it's like, it's gotta be a figment of their imaginations, right? Like from when they were kids, it's... But is it a real person in the real world? Because all of the woodland animals and creatures in Book of Goblins were all based off of real life people in their town and their community. So who was the Mad Hunter? Was it just a made up character? Or was it a real person? Was it their dad? And he ended up being a really bad guy? So their mom made him out to be a really bad character in the story? Cat, can you not? I'm trying to record here. Get down. Scoot. Scoot. No. Down. Down, please. Thank you. Allison is now losing her mind. Uh, PTSD will do that to you. Um, yeah, she keeps having these awful flashbacks. I mean, they've been having flashbacks, obviously, together, but... Now she's getting the really bad ones that she wanted to hide away forever um, and never have to think about again. And she's getting intrusive thoughts, which are just the absolute worst. I know firsthand because I myself struggle with those. Uh, so I really feel for her. But what I do love about uh, the previous episode is that Don't Nod added in grounding techniques. Um how Allison had that little app on her phone to help her to stabilize her breathing when she was having a panic attack. I thought that was so smart of them to do, so incredible, because a lot of people, you know, they don't know what to do in that situation. And that's such a great idea as an app. And you just whip out your phone, because who doesn't have their phone on them these days? And yeah, I don't know. I thought that was a really creative way um, to go about that and to really bring to light what a panic attack is like, so that other people who haven't experienced them can sort of understand a little bit better. So that was really cool. Um, there's something else I wanted to say. Oh right, Michael seems dope as fuck, and I wish he was real so he could be my bestie. That's that. That's all I got. I love that they took guidance from cultural, mental health, and transgender advocates to create this game. It's just, oh, they're such a great company. Love them so much. So many of my favorite games are made by Don't Nod. So as we already know, there are no collectibles okay. in this area. So now I don't have to go searching anymore. You can do this. But still, like, it's the perfect location to put a collectible, so why wouldn't they? I just... so oh, Don't get it. <sighs> but you know what we are going to do again? We're going to stop and admire the view. Because I just love what they did to the place. I love what they did to this game. Just let's take another moment to admire it. Beautiful. Even the clouds, look at that. It's great. 
All right. Okay, she had her breather. Let's do this. You can do it. Oh, Allie, I... Hello. Hi, Sam. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. So, um, I was over at the station, and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button-up. That's a nice memory. <coughs> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? This time we'll say just checking on you. I, um, I was just driving by and wanted to see how you were doing. I heard there was some trouble on the docks. There's always trouble on the docks. What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. Yeah, I told him I'd fix it. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. God. Okay, we went over here. This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. Yeah, that's What's that? Sad. Oh, um, there's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny. Spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed, but we sure as hell are going there. Uh, where's your brother? We had a fight. <laughs> Bit of sibling rivalry, huh? Oh, you should have seen me and my little brother have at it. Right up. Right up till the end. So his brother died. That's something we know about him now. Hey, cuz, I left you my boat a month ago, and as far as I can tell, the only work you've done is test how much beer you can fit on it. I paid you in advance as a favor because I know you need it, but god damn it, I need my boat. The, uh, Family's family, let's get it down around. by the boat. Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course. I mean, there's a whole life that lives in there. No shame. Uh, family is family, and I get it done for this weekend, or I'm reporting it stolen, and I know you're tired of brown on your ass. Answer your goddamn phone. Wow. Goddamn Billy Vines. I'm a corroded, rusty-ass junker. Not every time I hit the wrong button. It's not doing so good money-wise. He has a court date. Probably for drinking and driving or something. Shit. Why'd I take that? <laughs> Nuts are stuck. Why am I able to, to continue looking at this? Maybe I hand it to him? I'll give. Would this help? Oh, uh. Thanks, Princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a red can. Not a princess. It's in the red can. So we're gonna help him so that he finishes. So that he'll talk to us. I see. Oops. 
Let's just be a little little red can. Hard to find anything in this mess. Where the heck is it? Red can, red can. enough of that. Red can. Collectible? I see no collectibles. Four red cans. I see beer cans. Ah, oh, damn it. What happened? Ah, uh, busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Grab me a gauze. Should be in that cupboard over there. Uh, what cupboard? Oh, there's the red can. I didn't see that I could open the cupboard before. He wouldn't have hurt his finger if I'd found it sooner. I think I got some gauze in the cupboard next to the sink. Damn it. I bet I would have gotten an achievement for that too if I hadn't let him bust his finger up. How about you wash your hand first? Sam? Are you our father? <sighs> we'll just come right out Figured with it. Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for... He ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. That's not going to help anything. You two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but... I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look. We were just friends. I mean... Take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? Looking sharp, first mate, Kansky. Uh, what's that now? These pictures. Oh, well, yeah, that... That was, uh... A long time ago. Uh, what do you do on board? Oh, I work the deck. Started out doing maintenance. Collecting the garbage, cleaning the hull. Ranked up to navigation after a while. Where all did you travel to? Mostly worked the Southeast Asia route. Oh. Vietnam, Cambodia... Around those parts. Wow. I had no idea you were so worldly. Well, I, uh, I worked on a cargo, so I didn't get much shore leave. But, you know, there's 
There's really nowhere my legs feel as steady as on the deck of a ship, steering her toward a deep blue horizon. Seems like a cool guy. Much better. Wide in winter. Don't look on this computer. Oh, I'm so. T uh, no, don't do it. <laughs> Love this picture you're modeling. One hundred fifty dollars. These people are loaning them money now. Why is there a burnt up pan in your garbage? Oh yeah, <laughs> that. Uh, might have fallen asleep cooking dinner. Glad you're still with us. We just find all these recipes everywhere, but we don't collect them or anything. Meal plan. Oops. A lot of fish. A lot of fish. Just use the same thing over and over. Uh, you want to take a seat? No collectibles. But I can find. I really have to go all the way around. Okay. It's just. Sick. What's all this? Here, I uh kept a few things. Can I? She looks happy. Mm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mm -hmm. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. <laughs> huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jim, you closed the whole thing up. Told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're going to have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Al, are you really going to go through with this? Just like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's, it's all I, it's all we got left. You can't just throw it away. That means a lot to him. He loved her. I'm sorry. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I never tell you about the time I broke my leg. Shin bone snapped in three different places. <laughs> it stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, uh, she doesn't have none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out all morning. 
You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. Mm. And you gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think, think about that a lot. <laughs> gotta remember. There were more pictures in the box. Did I say the wrong thing? I hardly explored in there. I just left Sam with his window wide open like that. Poor guy's gonna freeze. Oh, apparently we learned the truth about Sam's relationship to the twins. He isn't the father. He wishes he was. Get the hell off my property now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Hey, you Tyler? I've been looking all over the place for you. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Yeah, Michael's just always there for everyone. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I, I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. <laughs> so, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. <laughs> Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. Cool. Stage is set. It's show time. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man, I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and. It's pretty here. You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right, right. So, did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh. 
I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? People came and went a lot. And besides, everyone moves on eventually, right? <laughs> not everyone. Not people who get so close, they're like family. I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches. And... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel them in. How do I reel on the line? Come on, pull up on the rod. Hold S. Reel them in. Okay, so it's S. No, give it a nice pull. Got it. I got it. Slipped a little. <laughs> Effort sound. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Bravo. First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. <laughs> oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez. You don't mess around, do you? <laughs> Told you earlier. I'm a very serious man. Hey, so the other day you were talking about your chosen family. How did you find them? Well, high school can be kind of rough when you gotta hide who you are every second of the day. I got to a pretty dark place. <sighs> I can relate to that. One morning, my uncle woke me up and told me to get into his car. I figured we we're going fishing or something, but then we ended up outside the Juno Coalition for Equality. Your Aww. uncle brought you to the JCE. Yeah. He didn't know how to help, so he found someone who did. That sounds amazing. You know, even if you don't move to so Juno, sweet. my offer still stands. The JCE holds a monthly meeting. You meet a lot of good people there. I think I'd like that. I... I'm not sure where I'm going, but yeah, if I'm around for the next one, I'll give you a call. No pressure. Just letting you know the door is open. Alright, here we go. I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, I'm here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How about them apples? Oh, nice job. <laughs> so, you weren't all talk. Impressed. I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. <laughs> Always so, there. about yeah. last night. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page, but it turns out we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her and start fresh. <laughs> Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. Uh, 
I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Figuring out how to live out here. You mean outside of Fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now, I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never gonna give up on you. Aww. And you can lean on me too, if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. So you gonna tell me what's in the cooler, or what? I could tell you. Or I could watch you squirm a bit longer. Ugh. You're a terrible person. You know that? You betcha. Don't you say anything. I got this. Three out of three. Well played. <laughs> I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. Yes. I'm a little disappointed. Achievement. Hey, can I, can I ask you something that's pretty personal? Sure. Take off the gloves. You, uh, you've been with people, right? Uh. Aww. Romantically? Uh, yeah. A few. Have you? Uh, no. Not really. That's kind of surprising. I guess the right person just never came along. But you're open to the idea? Yeah, I could be. <laughs> Let's say I'm reevaluating. You want my take on it? Sure. Heartbreak sucks. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. Aww. But I put myself back out there That's just so like sad. everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet <laughs> someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. Giving up indie folk. Oh. Ooh. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth a chance. Don't you? Yes. I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you, and it'd be cool. I feel safe. Yay. You are. Because your tell. sister would kill me if I did you dirty. <laughs> uh, yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. They're making good memories out there now. Hey, you're missing the show. Nice. Oh, are they? Make a move. You okay? <gasps> yes! Oh, I wanted that so bad. They're so cute together. 
Yes! Oh, my heart! <sighs> Yay! Tao is totally going to Juno now. I wonder what Allison's gonna think. <laughs> Oh, oh no, she's already having a rough time. Uh oh. Maybe maybe I shouldn't be so happy. So, uh, yeah. Yes, one way to put it. Hey, Ali. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay, uh, call me later. You know I will. Sorry for interrupting. I'm still smiling about this. No, oh, I'm it's so totally happy. fine. We were done anyway. I wanted that story to go that way so badly. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, <laughs> so what is it? Thing going on it was just at coke. Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. I'm not it surprised. Didn't seem like him. Burning down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. He'd never hurt Mary Ann's kids. There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. It's gonna be interesting. More secrets. More questions, because we haven't been getting many answers. Ugh, what a mess. That's not gonna help us get this house sold. Yeah, we got our deadbeat dad to thank for that. So obviously the ladder's gone, but what about that handle? What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. We'll see how chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. <laughs> Okay, so we need a ladder. Got one right here. Why can't we use it? I thought I saw something right over here, but I guess my mind's just playing tricks on me. No lever. Oh, we're looking for this place a is lever. a mess. There was ever a time to find a magic portal. Ooh, the Mad Hunter, creepy. Red handle. Red lever. Pull the lever, crunk. Mm -hmm. 
Just a regular old light switch. Nothing here. For a second, I thought there might be another secret stash down here, but just a loose plank. The handle should be behind this. Why? How do you know that? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on. Let's That's find a way to climb up what there. The clouds meant. Oh. In the story, I was so confused by that. Hey guys, so I recorded this episode like a long time ago and I realized that it was way too long, so I decided to split it into two different episodes uh, so it wasn't so drawn out. Um, that's why everything looks different, because I'm editing it on a different day after I've rearranged things, like my, my background. I have... Oh. World of Warcraft over here, and Doctor Who, and Fruits Basket right here. <laughs> uh, anyways, so yeah, so I split it up, and we will see what happens up in that loft momentarily. Stay tuned, and also hit the like button if you like this episode. Maybe a subscribe? <laughs>